Welcome to our sixth ever t -t 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 Tesla Thursday, and I'm back after taking two days off. Let's go. I'm still dealing with the low headache, so mind me if I'm not truly myself just yet. I'm hopefully gonna be 100% in the next upcoming days, but hopefully my teacher is 100% because he is going to rent a P100D Tesla Model S this weekend for a road trip. And he's going from Miami to Orlando. I probably shouldn't give out all this information, but he specifically drives a Chevy Volt and he's like driving a Tesla for the first ever time. And I'm for sure gonna be like, reporting his actions back to this channel for the next Tesla Thursday because he's gonna try autopilot for the first time he's gonna try the supercharger network for the first time the 0 to 60 speed in 2.5 seconds he's gonna get that whole Tesla experience and I'm very excited for him but today we're gonna talk about all the Tesla news that hopefully might affect us and our future as a planet and yes, I'm now back with the haircut, but the first news that we have today is that the Boring Company's first ever opening tunnel date of their very own loop, which means it's the one mile tunnel that could go up to speeds of 125 miles per hour. That little tunnel thing with that little electric car on the skates, that's, that's gonna be opening up on December 18th. It was originally gonna be opened up on December 10th, but Tesla and Elon Musk has now delayed it to the 18th. Along with the actual loop and the tunnel being at full capacity, we could also expect some little more secrets. There's gonna be a fully autonomous transport cars, and there's also gonna be ground to tunnel car elevators. So you know how like we had this little video of the Tesla Model S going from the, like, the ground floor all the way into the tunnels? That's supposedly gonna be there on December 18th. I definitely wanna see that happening, because that's gonna be Super, super cool. Not only do we get the loop, we also get these car to ground tunnels. <sighs> now getting into some Elon Musk news because he's always the full story and he's not the chairman of Tesla, but I mean, just in case you know, the, the whole SEC situation where he got fined $20 million and he had to resign as chairman, that doesn't affect his little like structure with Tesla at all. He's still CEO, he still can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, as like the practically the head engineer. But still, more often than not, people make a huge deal out of nothing. And talking about a huge deal out of nothing, Elon Musk just went on 60 Minutes, which is a show on CBS this past Sunday. I have yet to watch the interview, I probably really should. And he revealed a couple things, talking about the chairman stepping down, resigning there. That right there was my Uber Eats calling me, sorry for the interruption, but I was talking about how Elon Musk was just interviewed for this TV show, and he talked about he was like how he was stepping down for chairman, but like he didn't really like how 60 Minutes kind of cut up his words, and he said that like YouTubers like Marquez Brownlee, when Marquez Brownlee interviewed him, that was a much better process because Marquez didn't leave anything out, and he put everything on the table, unlike this little television show. I'll probably end up watching the, his little interview today so I could get some more background of Elon Musk because he is fascinating. But he also revealed that he had to buy the Tesla trademark when he was making the company back in 2004 for 75000 which is, I mean, it's a good amount of money, but nothing to Elon Musk with that PayPal money. He also later revealed on Twitter to get the domain name of Tesla.com, he had to like wait over a decade for it and he had to pay over and around 11 million dollars just for a domain and he only had to pay 75,000 to name his company Tesla so domains are expensive people they're expensive and this right here is a perfect transition as we're talking about tesla.com if you want to buy a Tesla and get the full $7,500 federal tax credit you're going to have to act soon because you got what like 17 days left until as of January 1st the federal tax credit is going to go from $7,500 to cut in half to $3,750 for the next two quarters. And then it's going to half again into $1,800. So that's going to be, you. Want, if you want that federal tax credit now, you're going to have to act now. And you're not going to be able to configure your own car. You're only going to have to use one of those inventories that are already in the stores. Elon Musk wanted everyone to know that if you do buy one of those cars from the inventory, you have three days to return it if you don't like the car, which is pretty convenient because not many car dealerships 
do that. And also not many car dealerships have daily or I mean not daily, but weekly and monthly software updates to their cars. And that's such as Elon Musk and Tesla is going to be inputting in 10 to 14 days some brand new Easter eggs. And it's not for Easter, it's probably gonna be some Easter eggs for Christmas, this Christmas holiday season. And if you remember the Model X little dancing Christmas show, that, that's actually pretty funny. I mean, this is, this is awesome. Software updates to your car, this is how the way it's supposed to be. To end off this video, there has been a brand new electric SUV in China that has been unveiled. This is by a brand new company that I'm 100% sure you've never heard of. You might've heard some like companies such as Neo and other Chinese companies, but this one's brand new and I'll talk about it in a second. But the Chinese electric car market is bustling and there's so much demand because five out of every 100 cars is an electric one and who's gonna answer that demand and it's not Tesla just yet until they make their gigafactory in China and get the economic advantage. But until then, all these companies have their chance such as this company that's about to reveal a $33,000 SUV. Let me just say that again, a $33,000 SUV with a range of in between 218 and 225. That's the two battery packs you get to choose out of and a zero to 60 time of 3.7 seconds. Very impressive for that low price. Of course, it's Chinese yuan money, which is not the same as the US dollars, but still, if it's that cheap in China and even cheaper with these incentives, it must be a pretty affordable car, especially an SUV. You know how China is known for their like Chinese clones? Well, this little SUV is called the X-Pen G3 and it looks very, very similar to the interior of the Model X, which is also like Tesla's SUV. It has an all glass roof, it has a vertical screen in the middle, and the dash cam, well not the dash cam, the dash screen in the front, right behind the steering wheel, has almost the same software setup as the Model X. I mean, there's definitely some uh, cues of design for the X-Pen G3. I wonder how much did they take that, but eh, whatever, as long as we got some electric cars, I'm happy, you're happy, the planet is happy. That right there is gonna be this video. I've been MWG Tech, and I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest. Make sure you subscribe and have yourself an amazing Friday and an upcoming weekend. Peace out.